Thank you for joining us for Sunday School today. Is it Sunday or is it some other day of the week? Is it Sunday morning or is it later in the afternoon or the evening? Are you by yourself? Are there others with you? Whichever way, I'm just so glad that you have joined us for Sunday School. Give yourself a great big hug and thank the people that you're with for being with you. Let's begin with a prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the love of your son, Jesus. We give thanks that when, like Peter, we make mistakes, we can be forgiven and have another chance to show love. Give us opportunities this week to care for others. And all of God's people said, amen. So we are now two weeks away from Easter. It's still the Easter season in the church, and so it's very appropriate that we are telling Jesus stories. The story today is about what happened to the disciples after Jesus died on the cross and then was resurrected on that Easter morning. The disciples who had followed Jesus had been with him for about three years. So when he was crucified, some of them were quite confused and lost. The story today focuses a lot on one of his disciples, on Peter. Before I tell you the story, I would like you to get some ingredients together. You're going to make a snack mix and we're going to do it while we hear the story. You will need some heart-shaped candy, and that could be the hearts that are popular around Valentine's Day, or they could be the hearts that you pick out of the Lucky Charms cereal or it could be red hots. Those are kind of heart shaped and red. You will need um, some goldfish crackers and you will need some mini marshmallows and you will also need some pretzel sticks. They have the little thin ones. And you'll need a big bowl or I brought a little bag. Um, and so if you need to, pause the video and go get those ingredients. Hearts, marshmallows, fish, and pretzel sticks. So I'm glad you're back. As I said, we're now about two weeks away from Easter and three weeks from all of Holy Week. You remember about Holy Week, right? Here's a very quick review of some of the most important things that happened during that week from my point of view. So on Thursday, Jesus had his last supper with his disciples. He washed their feet and let them know that he knew that someone was going to betray him. And then Jesus and the disciples went out to the Garden of Gethsemane. He asked them to pray with him, but they kept falling asleep. Jesus was arrested. He was betrayed by Judas with a kiss. And Peter then denied three times that he knew Jesus. Three different times people asked him, you know this man, right? And he said, no. And when that rooster crowed, Peter realized what had happened. The crowd was the one that said to crucify Jesus. And so Jesus was hung on a cross and left to die. Jesus was put in a tomb. And then three days later on that Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body, and he was gone. And they were told that he'd been raised from the dead. After that, Jesus appeared to the women and to the disciples a few times. Our story today, which I like to call the breakfast on the beach, is one of those times that Jesus appeared to the disciples. Listen to the story from John chapter 21 verses one through 17. In front of you, you should have your ingredients, your hearts, your goldfish, your mini marshmallows, and your thin pretzel sticks. And when I say a word that might be represented by one of those snack ingredients, put a scoop of it into your bowl or into your bag. Scripture says, after these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. And he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas, called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, 
and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. Maybe we could put some goldfish in then, right? They said to him, we will go with you. And so they went out and got in the boat. But that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples that did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, you have no fish, do you? They answered him, no. He said to him, cast the net to the right side of the boat and you will find some. So they cast it and now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. I think that's a big handful of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it's the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes for he was naked and he jumped into the lake. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish. I think that's some more fish. For they were not far from the land, only about a hundred yards off. When they had gone ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there. I wonder if these pretzel sticks could look like logs for a fire. So they saw a charcoal fire there with fish on it. And bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish. 153 of them. We're going to have a lot of fish in this mix. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. Now, none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them. And he did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And I think it's time to put in a heart candy. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. Do you think the marshmallows could look like lambs? A second time, Jesus said to Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. There's a heart-shaped candy. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. There's some of those sheep. Jesus said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Now Simon felt hurt because he said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. You should now have a big bag or bowl of snack mix with lots and lots of fish, maybe not quite 153, but with lots of fish, a few pretzel stick logs, some hearts and some marshmallow sheep. Don't eat it all at once. And you might even want to share it with others as a way of feeding sheep and taking care of others. Nancy will do some wondering with you next, maybe even as you munch. Thanks for joining me today. Hi everyone. Let's do some wondering together. I'm going to ask you some questions and if you want, you can pause in between the questions so you can answer them and continue on. I wonder what this story means. I wonder why Jesus asked Peter three times if he loved him. I wonder what it means to tend sheep or feed lambs. I wonder what you could do to show your love to Jesus. 
I wonder what other things we could have put in the snack mix that would remind us about parts of the story. I wonder if you could tell the story again based on the things in the bowl. Could you tell me the story? I'll start you out and see if you can fill in the blanks to tell the rest of the story. After Jesus had been crucified and died, the disciples went back to fishing. They did not know that Jesus had been raised from the dead. They were on the Sea of Tiberias, but they didn't catch anything. Someone from the beach called to them and said, Do you have any fish? They answered, No. Then the person who was Jesus told them to, what did he tell them to do? Put their nets in on the right side of the boat. When they did, what happened? What's this? They caught lots of fish. Do you remember how many? A hundred and fifty-three of them. At that moment, they recognized that it was Jesus and scrambled so fast to get to him. Peter jumped into the water and waded to the shore and the other disciples, they rowed back in the boat. When they got to the land, there was something that looks like this. Do you remember what these were? A fire. And Jesus had breakfast ready for them. Jesus broke bread and the fish and gave it to them and they ate. Then Jesus asked one of the disciples, do you remember who it was? Peter, a question. He asked the same question three times. Do you remember what he asked him? And I'm going to show you this. Peter, do you love me? Each time Peter replied, what did he say? Do you remember? Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And each time Jesus told Peter something to do. What did Jesus say? And we have something that looks like this. Do you remember what these were? He said, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. Jesus was telling Peter that because he loved Jesus, he would show his love by caring for all sorts of people. The grown-ups and the kids, the sick and the hurt, the sad and the lonely, the hungry and the homeless. Were you able to tell the story with the help of the snack mix? Each time you eat the snack mix, remember this story and how we are to love God by loving others. And if you share the snack mix, which would be one way of caring, feeding, and tending others, tell that person what all the different parts of the snack mix means. It's been great being with you today. Thank you for spending time with us. I hope you enjoyed your snack mix. This week, make sure you share the snack mix with others. And also tell them this important story about loving and caring for others. Make a special effort this week to show God's love to someone in need. And we'll see you next week.